Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today I would like to go over some of the tools of the trade. In this case, some of the key aspects of making a cast, which is one of the most important aspects of cryptozoology. Now, these are tools and materials you can get at, say, a store, but for the professionals, you are going to need to do this routinely, and you're going to need a lot of them. And when you need weird, esoteric st stuff, and you need them a lot of them, you need them cheap. And the most effective tool is actually something you normally would get at a dental's office, calling dental stone. It's cheap, it's an effective plaster, and you can build a lot of molds with it. First, you need to build your fence. You can get a commercially bought one. In this case, I'm just using what I have available around me. And this is not uncommon in a makeshift scenario. This is something to make sure that it doesn't overflow. Then you need to take the dental stone from whatever container you have had, in this case an old Yu-Gi-Oh tin of mine, and pour it into a plastic bag. And you try to do this as much as possible, just get as much in there as you think you need. Then you need to take some water. This is water I just got out of the river you see behind me, but sometimes you want to bring water with you if you can. And then you got to pour it into the bag with all the dental stone. Then you seal it up. And then knead the bag. Get all the air bubbles out of it so that it hardens properly. Then after it is thoroughly kneaded, you pour it into the track that you have found, and then you wait, and wait for an hour or so, until it looks sort of this consistency. And also, you'll notice, if you touch it, it should be pretty hardened. Then you need to take it out, and you have to do this somewhat carefully. And then you gotta clean it very effectively. This is just general dirt that I'm getting out on site. But even then, um, this will be something very, very difficult to be doing on site. And you really need to take it home and then give it a nice, good soak and scrub. So after about a day of drying, this is what we got. And as you can clearly see, it's pretty. Um, it's, I've also somewhat cleaned it. It's pretty good actually. It's got the nice good um, You can clearly see the hoof print on here. There's been a little bit of a stuff here, but you clearly see and This is probably a very efficient way to make a good impression Cheap stuff just using what you have on available Thanks for watching. If you like what I do here, please subscribe to my channel and be sure to click the bell button so you don't miss any new videos while you're at it, please consider subscribing to my other channel here where I do a bit of a behind the scenes look at who I am, what I like to do in my free time when I'm not making videos because it's about cryptozoology. Thanks.